Hi Libra, how's it going? And welcome to your March general reading. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Libra, welcome all. I'm so glad that you're here. Libra, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person that you're dealing with in love or in relationships right now. And we go through and unpack everything that's going on in your love life with that special person. We do that reading um, after this. It's always the first link in the description box below if you'd like to join. Also, Libra, don't forget to stick around to the end of this video where I might pick your name for the pick a card, okay? It's completely at random. Um, so stay tuned to the end for the pick a card. I'm super excited for that. All right, let's get right into it. Welcome to Pisces season and let's do your reading. This is for March, this is a general reading. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. They're saying three more. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages for Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, Venus, which is y'all's planet, um, is in Pisces right now, too. So Venus, you know, she rules love, relationships, also money. Um, her sign, who rules your planet, she's also in Pisces. So um, relationships, relationships with yourself, relationships with uh, loved ones, family, your partner, um, are just going to feel really deep right now. So just be aware of that. Okay. All right, Libra. Ooh, she was in your pre-shuffle. Y'all are showing up as the Empress, super, super gorgeous energy, male or female watching. Um, you are radiating love right now. You're super in tune. This is a highly feminine energy. Everything is kind of in tune with you right now energetically. And I really feel like for some of you, you can just explore the world. I really feel like you're I'm hearing like crawling out of your skin, but like in a good way, like you're just, you're very, ex um, you want to explore, like you're very exploratory right now. Like, um, and notice how she has, you know, she's, she's the mama, the grandma, she's got, you know, the pregnant belly is the world. I really feel like you could almost do anything you set your mind to right now. And you always can, but you're in that energy where you know that, and you believe in that. Oh, this is going to be good. All right. What's going on with Libra? Okay. Your first cards out are the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Ooh, talk about Pisces energy right there. Um, some of you could be connecting with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. We have the Page and the Knight of Cups. I definitely, definitely feel a romantic offer coming your way, and you're also feeling very lovey-dovey in your feels in a good way, and I really feel like you're soaking up that that loving energy of Pisces, um, Venus and Pisces right now, so I really love that. All right, let's see what's crossing this. Let's see what's crossing this. And some of you with this page of cups, um, there's something like you're like, I don't know if I can believe that until I see it. Like there's something like, there's no way that person would ask me out. There's no way that person would, you know what I mean? Like there's a little bit of like doubt seeping in, but it's kind of in a cute way. What's crossing this for Libra? Four of swords, okay? You're needing to like, oh, what is that? You know, you're, you're crossing right now is the four of swords. You're really contemplating some type of romantic offer. And it could be vice versa. Maybe you're thinking about putting yourself out there. I'm hearing on the line for someone else. Okay. What's Libra's true focus right now? Judgment in the star card. I knew this was going to be good. Judgment is about a huge decision. Okay. Star card is Aquarius energy. And I feel like, you know, that something is just destined for you, meant for you. And I also feel like this is such a dream come true when we get the star card in judgment. Like you're just, again, I'm, I'm almost feeling for some of you that this is such an unexpected like blast of love, okay? We have your card right here. Your true focus is really, really following your bliss, following your dreams, following your goals. And with these two Knight of Cups, Knight of uh, Page of Cups energies, I really feel like this is um, dreams and desires around your love life, okay? What's been in the recent past here for Libra? Also, how we saw the Empress, I am definitely feeling with this Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. Some of you are thinking about having a baby, adding on to the family, that kind of thing as well, or could be finding out, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant, you know what I mean? Okay, in the recent past, I'll have the Moon card, okay? Uh, Pisces or can Cancer energy. I definitely feel like you are embracing your emotions. You're like, oh, here it is, here it is. What's, uh, and we're going to go deeper and clarify all of these. What's crowning Libra at this time? You. 
This is just, a lot of major arcanas here, by the way. So this is a very intense time for you, but all really good, good cards here. So I do feel like past to what's going on now, maybe in the past you were curious in your feels, maybe curious about someone. Also moon card energy is, you know, it's very alluring energy. Like you're very like mm, mystery. Like someone seems like very mysterious to you and you're very like, who's that person? What's that thing? Like you're, you've been very, um, questioning something or someone okay but right now in your crowning energy you do have your card so you are focused on you um, and you are in the energy of justice libra you are doing things of what's best and right for you and for all i love that what's in the near future ten of pentacles i'm telling you some of some of y'all a lot of y'all are really coming together in a beautiful way. Um, also justice and the 10 of pentacles against could be someone, um, you know, maybe you want to sign a contract to live with someone, buy a home with someone, and it could be leaning towards that. Also this 10 of pentacles is like family home, family money, family company, um, kind of energy here. So I kind of feel like we're adding on to the family. We're in our fields. We're doing things that are right. We're shooting for our shooting for the stars, making big moves, big decisions that are all leading towards, the Ten of Pentacles, Libra, this is good. What's uh, Libra's true power here? Queen of Pentacles, knowing your worth, knowing, um, knowing that you deserve all of these blessings and miracles that are in your experience right now. What is hidden in Libra's environment? Someone's trying to make a decision that you might not know about. Two of Swords and the King of Wands, Libra, hidden in your environment. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. This is just the male coming out or the, the masculine energy. Yeah, I kind of feel like someone really wants to, you know, King of Wands is, is someone who's very loyal. Um, he's very fun. He's funny. I'm, I'm feeling like a comical energy from this person, but also like means business. You know, when you're in a Wands energy, these are very action oriented people. So I definitely am picking up that energy from that type of person. Um, let's get one more. Oh, we've got the Two of Cups here too. So this is about probably a romantic uh, situation for a lot of you it could be a friendship or family deal but I really feel like someone around you is in their head trying to make a decision here let's get one more for that strength card heavy emphasis on Leo with all this fire energy but yeah someone's kind of I'm feeling like holding back a little bit five of cups someone's missing you and holding back I honestly feel like their true feelings for you or some type of deep like passion that they have for you like someone wants to come towards you in a, in a big way but they're um they're a little bit caught in their heads and we will go in and clarify that in just a moment what is libra's hopes and fears in this situation king of swords you and the eight of pentacles i'm hearing working it out you just hope that everything works out for the best and highest good that you i, I really feel like you're hoping that I really, I'm honestly feeling like for some of you, you're like, I really hope that that person really worked on themselves. I really hope that, I hope that, I hope that, I'm, I'm hearing a hope, a lot of hope energy. I'm really hoping that, that's like what y'all are saying. I really hope that, <laughs> I don't know why that's coming through that way, but you are, you are hoping for a lot of things. I feel like with the eight of pentacles here, again, it's like you want to, you've done a lot of work on yourself here and you really are hoping that whoever this other person is, like a family member, a friend, you and someone really coming back together in a beautiful way um, or coming together. This could be really fresh for a lot of you too with the page. It could be a new romance, a new friend. Um, but I do feel for some of you, it's like you, you really hope that this person has worked on themselves. I'm picking that up very, very clearly. And let's get the outcome here. <laughs> Death, rebirth. Like I said, for a lot of you, this is could be something um, that has ended from the past that is coming back, back and is ready to be rebirthed. Okay, I do feel that very intensely before that card even came out. Bottom of the deck, we have the three of swords. I do feel like you're healing a broken heart. For some of you, could you could have felt um, some type of pain or loss from losing someone um, that is in spirit. Behind this is the four of wands, and we have the five of cups. So I definitely feel like there's a rebirth in your romantic life for a lot of you. And if it's not romantic, it has something to do with someone that you very much love and care for. 
um, like a family member or a close friend or something like that. So let's break this down a little bit more, shall we? Let's go back to this Knight of Cups and this Page of Cups and clarify, what is this? Who's this Knight of Cups for Libra? This is the romantic offer. This is the proposal energy, okay? We have the Seven of Swords with the Temperance card. And we have the Queen of Swords. Who's this Page of Cups for Libra? Yeah, this was someone, this is someone that would bring balance into your life that would make you happy. And I really feel like this would honestly put you in a relationship or in a um, in a happy place in a relationship with the three of cups. Again, it's not gonna be for everyone, but I would say 40% um, that are watching, um, this is about someone that you've already dealt with in the past, okay? And that person um, from the past that y'all have had, seven of swords, y'all have had trust issues with each other in the past. Uh, with temperance energy here in the queen of swords, queen of swords is also your energy, Libra, um, also Gemini and Aquarius energy. But I feel like this is a clearing the air conversation from trust issues from the past. Well, hey, I know you wanna come back. I know you wanna offer me this romantic offer, but there's like a big but here with this energy. But, you know, we need to sort out what happened with the Seven of Swords here. So it's a little bit of trust issues, but all that can get sorted out in this Queen of Swords energy, which is you. You know, you do have the power to, you know, heal this connection. You have temperance here, which is all about healing, which is all about divine timing, okay? And I do feel like through time, that this connection will come through, okay? Also with the Six of Pentacles over the Page of Cups, with the Three of Cups, um, it's a, it's very unexpected. What I wanna get one more on that part. What's the unexpected part of this here? Your Ten of Cups, you're just like, you. it's like you have a feeling about someone or a situation or like if I had a baby with this person or if I had, there's some type of adding on to your situation where you know deep down in your emotions and your soul, because cups are about feelings and, and emotions, which is really your heart, which is your soul calling at you. It's like you know in your soul that this is like your happily ever after situation here. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Let's look at your four of swords. This is crossing your energy where you might need to kind of rest or think about it. I'm hearing some of y'all, if you get an offer here, you're like, this sounds really good. I need to sleep on it though. It's that kind of vibe. Uh, Four of Swords. Why is this here for Libra? Yeah, Four of Cups. For some of you, this is a newer offer coming in. Um, but for some of you, you you're you don't know if you're ready because Libra. Some of you are are really thinking about someone or a relationship from your past. You're a little bit in a past energy here. Um, and maybe not ready to fully accept this new love or proposal that's right here, you know, pretty much under your nose here. Why is the four of swords here for Libra? Yeah, we have the sun card in reverse. I feel like um, there's something where you would be really, really happy. Like instead of 10 out of 10, I'm feeling like a 9.5. Still really, really good. But I, this is this is like your homework here on, on you need to sort out, you know, do I need to say yes to this thing or do I need to still heal some emotions and some stuff from my past so that I can fully be open and express myself lovingly in this current loving situation that's literally right here for you, okay? Um, I wanted to look at the judgment card in your focus position. You in reverse, justice card in reverse, okay? With the two of pentacles. Um, I'm gonna get one more before I say that. Why is judgment here? Two of swords, the need to make a decision. I do feel like you've been in a stalemate energy in the past over this. If it's about a person, I really feel like I'm just hearing I've been sitting on it. It's been on the back burner. That situation's been on the back burner. Um, but with the justice card in reverse, you've kind of been giving yourself an injustice by not making a decision here, okay? On whatever this is for you. By you kind of not making a decision on accepting this or healing something from the past, and just kind of staying in that two of swords energy of not making a decision, it's actually continuing to justice in reverse. It's, it's, it's giving you, unfortunately, an injustice. And I feel almost like a, like a self-sacrificing energy. Like for some of you, if you're in a relationship, like you're, I'm pretty happy with this person. They're pretty awesome. But I know that there's someone either from my past or I just have a feeling that there's so much more better for me, more fulfilling, and I don't know what that is. It's like like a missing piece to the puzzle, but instead of, I just feel like for, there's like an energy here, I've just been waiting, I've been waiting, but with judgment, 
the wait's over. The wait is now over. Okay, y'all been waiting. Let's look at this star card. Why is a star card here for, um, for Libra? Three of pentacles. This could be your dream job. Okay, if this is about work or career for you with a full card, this would put you on a whole new career path. If this is about a person, um, a connection for you, this is your dream person that you want to build your life and build a legacy with. And that's huge. That is huge energy right there. Three of pentacles is like me, you, spirit. Like we can do it together. We can build our dreams together. We can start building our foundation together. Like it's the start of that. And it puts both of you on a whole new path, okay? Why has the moon been here for Libra in the past? Let's clarify that, please. King of Swords, you and your masculine energy. You also have the King of Swords here as well. So we've got two of you and your masculine energy. And we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so there could be some type of... I feel you have blocked someone off, could be vice versa, um, because of some type of um, uh, deep emotions, not wanting to deal with the emotions, not wanting to deal with the person, I've blocked them, that kind of energy. That's what I'm picking up, and it could be vice versa, but I'm really feeling like Libra, you're just like, eh. you're still watching them, but you're not wanting, you didn't want to communicate with that person, or, or have, I'm hearing you didn't want to have anything to do with it from the past. Why is justice in the crowning energy here? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is you right now wanting to, you're in search for your Ten of Pentacles for a lot of you, which is already on the table. So you're showing up as Nine of Pentacles in reverse. For a lot of you, single, independent, I can pay my own bills, I can take care of myself, financial freedom. When I get this in reverse, it's like the nine and a half, and we're feeling that again with the sun in reverse. I feel so good, but I'm like at a nine and a half, not at the ten. Why, 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 why are we not at the ten? Why are we not at the 10? We're going to be at the 10. But I want to know why y'all are not at the 10. Okay, why is the justice card here? Anything else on this? Full queen of cups in reverse, six of cups. This is about a past soulmate. Um, could also be a past life, someone that you, for some of you have children with. Queen of cups in reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, someone's emotions are a little out of control and a little unbalanced when we get a queen of cups in reverse. Okay. Also a little normal to see that in Pisces season. Okay. So I do feel like you're thinking about how to make things right emotionally with someone from your past. And that would set both of you with the full card on a whole new beginning. Look at that three of swords in reverse, which is also at the bottom of the deck. Boom. Healing that pain. Y'all are so on it. I love it. Why is the 10 of pentacles here for Libra and the future energy? Strength card. Some of y'all are directly dealing with a Leo. We have strength out twice. Also look at the infinity sign. This is a cycle and this is a, um, the number eight represents a new beginning. Why is the 10 of pentacles here? Ace of swords, you and or the other person or party is fully awake to what this is. Nine of swords and y'all are both stressed about it. Um, two of cups. This is about your person, your fulfillment, your partner, your, I'm hearing rest of your life. Like this is really, really big. You know, someone that you would settle down, maybe have children with, have the home, a settle down life, right? Two of cups, soulmate energy. That is what's coming in the future. What's the ace of swords here? King of Pentacles in reverse, Three of Swords in reverse. Libra, it seems like, it seems like in the past there could have been some type of, um, like, like if you and someone in the past were not getting along because of like money reasons, I'm feeling that like, like maybe they didn't have a great job and couldn't support you or vice versa. Um, or, or I, I feel like a, like an unbalanced, like they're showing me scales like this, which is your energy scales like this, where like one person was fully providing for, and I know it's been COVID and lots of people like lost their jobs and all that, but I am feeling some type of energy of 
well, you couldn't take care of me or you couldn't take care of your own part. There's some type of missing element there from the past um, that now with the Ace of Swords is like, you know what? I can learn to take care of myself. I don't need my person to completely provide for me. And that's that. Thank you, Spirit. They're going, they said, go back to the Nine of Pentacles. That's why we are Nine of Pentacles in reverse, working on ourselves, working on our independence so we can come into a full union of abundance and worth with our partner. Oh, it's good. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Libra? Three of Wands in reverse, huge delay, huge delay here. Eight of Swords because um, you're in the Eight of Swords energy with this. You you know that you deserve this. You know that you're worth it in this Queen of Pentacles energy. You know it. But for some reason, there's no action here because on someone's part because Eight of Swords are self-created, self-sabotaged, very intrusive thoughts here in this situation. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Libra? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, it is time to move forward and Spirit's going to help you. Oh, to the Two of Cups, that's where this is going. This is about you and someone else coming together for, for most of you. All right, let's look at your environment energy, what's around you. What's this Two of Swords representing in the environment for Libra? Six of Wands in reverse. Someone's not making a move because they feel like um, they don't, it's not that they don't deserve to be with you, but they're comparing themselves to others. So I'm feeling this energy. Yeah, this person's also in their heads as well. It's like someone's trying, like wants to come to you, make a move, um, that like get closer to you, and they want to communicate that. But with them having a six of pentacle, um, sorry, six of wands in reverse, they're in this energy of lack of like, well, if I go towards Libra, you know, they've dated like all these beautiful people and, and maybe I'm not feeling as beautiful right now and I don't know if they like me. You know what I mean? Like it's a very comparison kind of energy and that's completely like not even necessary at all. Okay, let's look at the King of Wands in Libra's environment. What's that about? Spirit, why is this King, King of Wands here for Libra's environment? It's a lover's card. Could be a Gemini you're dealing with, but I'm telling you this King of Wands, like I said earlier before we clarify, clarified this, this is someone who is, has been divinely guided by spirit, by source, by God, by your angels, whatever it is that you connect with spiritually. They've been brought to you by spirit. They don't have to be a fire sign. doesn't have to be a man either. It's just the fi a fire masculine energy coming through. But this person is like super determined and super like loyal to your love. They're loyal to your love. They're loyal to your love. I keep hearing that very loud. Page of Cups, this is the person that's coming through. This is a very clear and obvious reading to me. I do want to clarify the strength card for this person. Why is the strength card here? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, star card in reverse and five of pentacles. Yeah, this person, um, if this is someone you've dealt with in the past, they miss you desperately. Um, they feel like five of pentacles. They feel like lonely without you. They This person has a hard time... Um, like even going about their day-to-day -day life without like you crossing their mind, okay? All right, let's look at the hopes and fears. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Libra? Yeah, judgment in reverse. It's like you're still questioning, Does has that person done their work? Has that person leveled up? You're like questioning that, okay? Yeah, it's about a King of Wands. Someone could have had a lot of um, outrageous kind of, actions in the past i don't want to say like abusive energy but someone was very like loud with their energy and almost a little bit scary and intimidating when we get a king of wands in reverse and that's exactly what i was picking up on you're like you know what i hear they're back they're back in town i saw that message whatever and you're like i'm you're thinking about it or contemplating it but you're like oh i really hope that they've changed their ways i hope that they've worked on themselves so they don't show up in this king of wands energy again okay a little bit of narcissistic energy with that why is the King of Swords here in hopes and fears for Libra? Okay, we got the Hermit card. Yeah, you are in Hermit mode. I really feel like you're reserving your energy to um, almost kind of, again, sleep on it and really check your emotions to, to find your happiness in the situation. I really feel like you're taking the high road no matter what with your Justice card energy. I really see all Libras do that a lot. Y'all take the high road quite often, and that is really something to be proud of when y'all get hit with a hard situation i see that over and over and over it's like well libra did the right thing libra took the high road and i see that here whatever the situation is you are doing what's best and right for your soul's guidance 
okay, with the Hermit card energy. Beautiful. All right, let's clarify your outcome energy as death, rebirth. What is this here for Libra? Death, rebirth. Queen of Wands. Okay, so the other match to the King. So this is a, a match person for you, someone who wants to communicate Page of Swords or is, um, you know, watching you on social media. Not in a creepy way, but they're just, they're passionate about you. Why is a death rebirth here for Libra? Cycle's not over. This, this story is not even near over. World card in reverse. Eight of Swords, um, outcome energy. Both of you, look at this. It's like both you and this person can't stop thinking about, I miss them. I, my heart's broken. You know what I mean? And it, it doesn't have to be anything recent. Could be, could be someone from the past. Okay, but I do feel like you and someone are desperately missing each other and trying to come back in union, they're definitely going to reach out with a huge romantic offer. Um, and it's obviously your choice. It's your free will to accept or not. Okay. Um, that's definitely what I have for you, Libra. Let's do the pick a card and then we'll do the love reading. Woo! I need a quick drink of water. Okay, Libra, drum roll, please. All right, Libra, the person that won the pick a card reading this time is Randy Edwards. Randy Edwards, you are my winner. Thank you so much um, for being a subscriber, Randy. And Libra, if you want me to pick your cards next time, just make sure you're subscribed to this channel and leave your name in the comment section down below. Be subscribed, leave your name, that's all it takes. And I pick y'all completely at random as just my way to give back and say thank you for being so awesome and so supportive of me and my journey and my channel. And for those of you that wanna know what's going on in your love life specifically from your other person's perspective, what they're thinking about you, feeling about you, outcome, energy, all that stuff, that love reading is downstairs in the description box below. All right, all right, Randy Edwards, how are you, my love? I hope you're doing well. Randy, thank you so much for being a subscriber. I appreciate you so much. We've got three more shuffles. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages at this time for Randy Edwards? Randy is a Libra. This is for Randy Edwards. What is the best and highest message for Randy Edwards? Libra energy. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages for Randy. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Could be connecting with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Definitely in your feels, in your emotions. And I really feel like you've got your eye on the prize, like on someone in particular. Um, or you're just really, really in your heart space right now, which is beautiful. I definitely understand that with Venus, the planet that rules Libra in Pisces right now. That's a very Libra in Pisces. I'm sorry, Venus in Pisces energy. Okay. Randy Edwards, let's see, what is your message? You've got the hangman, okay. You've got the knight of wands. You have, nice, nice, you have the ace of pentacles, beautiful. Okay, three of cups. Six of Cups. Wow, there's a soulmate return. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck for you, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius doesn't have to be, but it's a uh, kind of similar to the other reading. It's a masculine energy. The Lover's card underneath that and the Star card. Um, this is someone that is destined to be in your life. Uh, I'm definitely hearing soul contract, pre-written destiny, soul contract. Okay, and again, they don't have to be a fire sign, um, but this person is, um, I, I'm feeling like very husband energy, very... And it doesn't have to be a man, but very masculine energy. They want to put this over here. Yeah, this person's looking at you. They don't have their back to you. They're looking towards you. They're embracing you. Thank you, spirit. Okay, so, you know, I kind of feel like you, this is you right now. Um, this is a very stuck, stagnant energy. It did show up in reverse. So I feel like you have received ding, like a message or some type of enlightenment here. Um, and I feel like it's because of this person, this king of wands. They have made a move of knight of wands. This is a very passionate move towards you and it was it, it was like a very quick offer or it will be a very quick offer um with an ace of pentacles this person this king of wands is offering you um some type of abundance some type of i feel like this person wants you to like live with them or like live life together with them 
Okay, this is like a, a really, really huge offer with the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this person's very determined to win your heart. And I love the Three of Cups with the Six of Cups because this is definitely saying like this is like an um, definitely a soulmate that you already have a lot of beautiful fond memories of that they're y'all are like coming back into full swing in this three of cups energy okay and it's because of this ace of pentacles it's because of a blessing um someone might have gotten inherited like a job a home something like that and that's why this person and i they don't even have to be an air a fire sign but i do feel like they have confidence and that's why they're showing up as the king of wands it's like because of this ace of pentacles because they got a new job because they have like more money or more inheritance or more something, this person is feeling more confident now to um, to come towards you in this Knight of Wands way, like very like bright and shiny. Hey, Randy, look at me. Um, I have something for you. And that definitely, definitely gets you out of this stagnant hangman energy where you're just like feeling kind of like, I don't know about life, whatever. This person comes in literally to rock your world. And I love that for you. This is a huge, beautiful soulmate reunion for you. Um, and I love that. Randy, I hope you enjoyed this message. And if there's anyone else still here, I will catch y'all next time in the mid-months for March. Or I'll see you in the love reading. Lots of love. Bye.